We turned up in the party going crazy. Turning up in the party going crazy. We turned up in the party going crazy. Got all my niggas feeling kind of hazy. All Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a purse collection part three. I already did part one and part two. So yeah, I told y'all, let me know if y'all wanted another purse collection video. And this is gonna be purse collection part three. So yeah, I got about six purses, but not too many as I had in my previous ones, but I got six purses to show y'all. I think I did my last one two weeks ago. So this is the the purses I got within that time span. So yeah, I only have six, but yeah. I'm excited to show y'all what I got. So yeah, let's get into it. Here is my first purse. This is the a toaster purse that I got from Dolls Kill. Let me see if y'all can see it. I'm trying to get the camera to focus on it, y'all. This is a toaster purse that I got from Dolls Kill. This purse was $38, as you can see. I haven't even fully took it out the packaging yet because yeah, I haven't used it yet. I just got this purse like maybe last week. Let me show y'all the inside. So you still have like the plastic stuff in it, but yeah, this is a toaster purse from Dolls Kills. I have been looking at this purse, have been looking at it for a while now. And you can see it has little details like an actual toaster would have. But yeah, this purse is uh, under the brand of Current Mood. This is the Two Dope. This is the Two Dope Toaster Bag. If you want to search this up on Dolls Kill. And I got this for $38. I really like this purse. I've been wanting to get this purse for a while. And I was like, I need some more purses. So I'm like, let me get this purse. So yeah, I was super, super stoked to get this. And yeah, I haven't put like any outfits together with this or anything. Like I said before, I just got it. So I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna come up with with this, but y'all know I'm kind of in, into like the food themes now. So I feel like this purse is perfect. But yeah, I really like this purse. Stepping away from the food, like this is a cow purse right here. Cause y'all know I have like a lot of food purses. This is a cow purse I got from Dolls Kill. This purse was $38. Also, I actually got this purse to go with um one of my outfits I got from Fashion Nova. Y'all haven't seen it yet. I have the outfit marinating in my closet right now. I'm just trying to wait on like the perfect time to pull it out because yeah, sometimes you gotta let the outfit sit for a while and it just, it just gets better and better. That's what I like to do. So like the outfits y'all see, they've been playing for like months before I actually take pictures and decide to post them. But yeah, so this is one of them outfits. I've been sitting on this outfit for like about a month now. I don't know when I will pull it out. Probably gonna pull it out soon. I don't know. But yeah, hopefully soon. But yeah, I got this purse to match this because I already have a cow purse. I showed y'all in my first purse collection that I took with, pictures with before. It's just black and white. But yeah, now I have this brown. Let me give y'all a close up on the details. And I like the way it's like, had like a, it's kind of made like a check mark like you know just not standard across but yeah let me show y'all like this is what it looks like still have paper in it i got this purse just recently like i'm telling y'all like all of these purses i got these within like the last two weeks so yeah but yeah even like the details has like the cowgirl belt buckle thing I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even notice that, but wow. Dolls Kill, they really have great details on their purses and stuff, but yeah, sometimes like the stuff can go over your head. But yeah, this is from Dolls Kill and it was $38. This is the next purse I have. This is a chessboard theme type purse. And I got this to go with my outfit to match my, let me show y'all. my oreos yeah i was kind of trying to go for the chest scene and i was like okay they're gonna match well with my oreos so yeah i happen to see this on dolls kill and i know it looks very very plain but you have to open it hold on let me open it and show y'all what how the inside looks i 
I don't know if y'all can see, but let me sit this down for a second. The purse com comes with actual chess pieces. You can actually play chess with your purse. Trying to get the camera to focus for y'all. Here are some of the other chess pieces. But yeah, you can actually play chess on this purse. This purse was this purse was $52. And yeah, I'm still trying to tie together my outfit with this, but I just love the chess concept. And y'all know I'm always sticking chess pieces to my jackets that I have that look like chess boards. So yeah, y'all get the vibe here. But yes, this purse was from Dolls Kill and this purse was $52. Next we have is a, I'm sorry, I'm reading right here, a brioche blue bread tag bag. This purse, this little purse right here was $80. Now let me tell y'all, I bought this purse from Studio Coat. I did not think this purse was gonna be literally like this small. I don't know if y'all can tell on camera, but this purse is tiny. Like, it's tiny. For $80, I was expecting it to be like humongous. Cause y'all seen, we'll get to that purse later in the video, but y'all seen the chicken bag. I was thinking that it was gonna be like that size. I don't know, because from the pictures on the website, this was looking pretty large. And I thought it was gonna be large, like, you're gonna kind of need binoculars to see this, in my opinion. Like it's so tiny, it's like almost the size of an actual bread tag, like you could get on a loaf of bread. But I feel like for the price, eighty dollars, and that's not including shipping and tax. I think after that, it came up to like about a hundred. But yeah, I do like this purse. This purse was out of stock for a while, and I was dying to get this purse. So once I seen it was back in stock, I was like, I had to get it. I think they have like neon pink. They might have black. I don't know. But I was going for this because I was trying to pair it together with one of my outfits, which it didn't end up matching. So I don't know when I'm going to pull this out. But yeah, this little thing right here was $80. And I got it from Studio Coke. Here's the inside of it. And yes, I just got this recently. So I, it still has packaging in the inside of it. Here's the little purse scrap that you can attach i don't have you could either hold it you could attach this or you could hold it like this i prefer to hold it like this because it gives more of a bread bag vibe and here's the details on the front it's it says 3.99 let's get this bread but yeah you have the studio coat and I have other purses from the Studio Coat Collection. It was the recycling bin purse that y'all seen me pose in on Instagram. And the paper cut purse. So I really, really love their purses. They really have some very unique purses. But yeah, this was $80. I don't know if y'all want to buy it or what. But yeah, just know it's going to be tiny when you get it. But yeah, this is from Studio Coat. This next bag is the two minute meal crossbody bag from Dolls Kill. This purse was $38. Now let me tell y'all, y'all know I'm in the food purses right now. So when I seen this, I was like, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. I was looking at this purse for a while and I was like, okay, let me break down and get it. Like I got this purse last week. When I got this purse, I got the toaster purse also. So, yeah, this is from Current Mood. Like, they have some unique stuff too. The Current Mood brand on Dolls Kill. Get it on Dolls Kill website. This purse was $38. It's like a imitation of like a TV dinner type. You can see the chicken, the mashed potatoes with the butter. I'm assuming this is like oranges, y'all. I don't know if I'm wrong with that, like mandarin oranges. And then this is like the vegetables. And then look, this is my favorite part right here. Let me show y'all my favorite part. It has a miniature spoon and a miniature fork. Like, 
this purse is giving me life right here like I didn't even know they was gonna have this right here until I bought it and I actually seen it in person. I was already sold off like the TV dinner type style. But yeah, if I was y'all, I'll go get this purse. Let me show y'all the inside. It's just regular. It's just still a full of paper. I haven't took the paper out yet. Cause I haven't used this purse. But yeah, it has two pockets on the inside. But yeah, and this is how you will zip it back up. But yeah, out of this batch of purses, I would have to say this is my favorite one right here. This is bomb. I'm telling y'all, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I, I'm going to have to figure out something because yeah, I am in love with this purse. I would totally recommend this. And again, this is from Dolls Kill and it was $38. I don't know why I feel like 38 is Dolls Kill's favorite number, but yeah, most of their purses are priced at $38. I don't know why 38, but it's 38, but yeah, Dolls Kill. Next we have is this Clucking Good Chicken bag. This is actually called Guilt Free Chicken Tote Bag on Dolls Kill. I got this from this purse from Dolls Kill. This purse, this purse is actually so large, I can't, I'm trying to like back up so y'all could get like the full view of it because it's huge. I didn't think the purse was going to be this big when I ordered it online, so I was a little surprised. But I would prefer my bread tag purse to be this size because, yeah, you want something that's going to pop out. And this is popping out. This purse was $48 on Dolls Kill. As I stated, I got this purse last week alongside the toaster purse and the lunch i'm sorry the toaster purse and the tv dinner purse i got this purse also i would have to say i'm in, i am in love with this purse i got this purse again to match my dunk lows i don't have them behind me but yeah i got them to match this purse and i'll tell y'all like it couldn't have matched better it couldn't have matched so I was super excited that like when I put the outfit together with the little waitress fit and everything that it would tie together really well. Because I was like, I hope these aren't going to be like different type of reds and everything. But yeah, everything came together really well. I posted it on my Instagram yesterday. You can follow my Instagram, AfroPubJada. And you can see like the outfits. I come up with these purses and the sneakers. I don't know if like some of y'all are here for my sneaker videos. But yeah, you can see the outfits I put together with my purses and my sneakers and just basically what I come with up with and y'all let me know if y'all like the outfits or whatever I'll be coming up with but yeah I'll be trying I'll be trying but yeah when I seen this purse I was hesitant at first I'm like chicken I'm like do I really want a chicken bag and I was like yeah I think I do because I mostly got like almost everything that pops out on dog skill sites so I was like this is screaming for me to get it. So I had to get it paired with the little dunks. And yeah, this is, let me give y'all a close view. And you can unzip it. More plastic in here that I did not take out. Just because I just got this purse and I really haven't had a chance to put anything in it. But usually I just leave the plastic in my purses so they can like not be flat, you know, like give it some life. But yeah, this purse is from Dolls Kill and this purse was $48. Last but not least, this is my cereal purse, y'all. Everybody been going crazy over this purse right here. I took pictures with it on my Instagram. I'll put that on the side of the screen. But yeah, this is, I'm sure this is the purse that everybody's coming to see. This is the purse that everybody has been going crazy over. I actually made this purse. And if y'all want me to go like more in depth and like go step by step on how I made it, I'll do another video with y'all. Get this video to 100 likes if y'all want to see it. Because I don't want to do it if y'all not going to watch it. So let me know in the comments below if y'all will watch the video or drop a like i need 100 likes on this video in order to go step by step and show y'all how i made this because y'all can make it too so yeah but this is actual cereal in here and i actually 
made this purse to match my low dunks right here. And I was like, you can't get any better than having lucky charms to match your shoes. That's what I just came up with. So I'm like, I'm gonna make a cereal purse and no, this is not a candle. This is rock hard. As y'all can see, the cereal is not soggy. This is an actual spoon that doesn't come out. Like, <laughs> this is like rock solid, y'all. But yeah, this purse, um, y'all been sharing my picture everywhere with this purse. And even gotten a couple other people to try to attempt to make this purse. But yeah, if y'all decide like making this purse, please tag me so I can see. But yeah, I was just sitting there and I was like, I'm gonna make me a cereal purse. And this is what I came up with. It has the scrap and everything. And I posted my video on TikTok and people were saying, oh, it's not a purse if you can't put anything in it. Well, look, it has a zipper and everything. But yeah, it has a zipper on the back of it and you can put things inside it. I'll put a couple pieces of chess, a couple chess pieces in here. Can't put much in it, but like, you can put your credit card and some cash if you need to, but yeah. Everybody on TikTok was saying, oh, it's not a purse if you can't put anything in it. And it was this one old lady that reacted to my video. And like, she was angry out of nowhere, talking about it's not a purse. Like, come on now, lady. Like, this is a purse. It has a zipper on the back of it. And even if it didn't have a zipper or anywhere to put my my belongings in the purse, it's still a purse. If I hold it like, a, like it's a purse, it's going to be a purse. But... Yeah, she got real pressed over the situation and everything. But yeah, that was on TikTok. And folks, like I said, let me give you a close-up. This is an actual zipper. You can put stuff inside this. If you decide to make a pocket on the back, you don't have to. It will still be considered a purse. A purse is anything that you hold like a purse. If you get what I'm saying yeah i think y'all get what i'm saying but yeah this is my cereal purse and if y'all want me to go make this purse on my channel like i said get me to 100 likes and i'll go in depth step by step and show y'all how to make this cereal purse because i know a lot of y'all been wondering y'all been trying to get me to make y'all one and all that but yeah this takes some work y'all and this thing is heavy this i know this thing weighs at least 10 pounds this thing is heavy this is one of the heaviest purses I've had. Like it doesn't, probably don't look heavy, but this thing is humongous. And yeah, if you attempted to make this purse, please tag me so I can see your pose. And yeah, I would just greatly appreciate it if you tag me, if you decide to recreate this purse. But yeah, even alongside my other ranch purse that I made, if you decide to make this purse also, tag me and let me know. Yeah, these are like the most two recent purses I have made so far but yeah let me know but yeah this purse was just a splur of the moment i was like let's see how creative i can get and this is how creative i got so yeah let me know what y'all think about the purses and like i said if you want me to go in depth about showing y'all how to make this purse just get this video to a hundred likes or even comment below and say girl we want the video on how to make it step by step and i'll make it for y'all but yeah Thanks for watching this video. Follow my Instagram, AfroPuffJada. That's where y'all can see all of these purses and the outfits I come up with them. And follow my TikTok also at AfroPuffJada. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And drop a comment and a like below if y'all want to see me make this. I, like I said, I'm only doing it if y'all want, if y'all interested in it. Because I don't want to waste my time because baby, this took a lot of work. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if y'all want me to do a part four to this purse collection, let me know. But yeah, we out.